Okay, hi guys, welcome to another area yoga class with Timmy and me. And I'm really, really happy that you are here today again. And I have absolutely no idea actually how many people are in this live stream already because I can't see it with the software I'm using. So um, I will quickly hop on my laptop and check how many people are in here already. And again, thank you so much for joining today. And yeah, please leave us a comment. Can you see us? Like, can you see Timmy and me? And can you hear me very well? And maybe can you also hear Timmy? So um, yeah, you already probably know me. Maybe some of you already know Timmy, but um, Timmy, would you like to actually like introduce yourself? Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Timea. I'm, uh, I'm from Hungary. And actually, I live in Malta and I teach in Malta. Um, I teach area yoga, um, area fitness, food fitness, and all sorts of yoga. Um, and now, a lot of time I'm spending to create my own skills about area fitness because that I really love it. So today also what I want to teach is going to be um, some of pose you really can use in a choreography. So when you are creating on the music, like sequence it, and they are really synchronized together. Um, that's it. <laughs> cool. So yeah, you already know what we are up to today because Timmy is going to show you a really nice flow of flips and tricks and some cool area yoga poses today and then most probably next week we are going to use all this that you learned today to actually put it on with some really cool music and thank you so much for joining us Chelsea and Audrey thank you for having me back We're happy to have you here again and yeah great that you came here and see us well <laughs> so I guess we are already like ready to start and make sure that you have some water next to you. Maybe you want to switch on some nice music you like. Um, those of you who already received my email, there's also a link in it with a playlist from Spotify I created for myself. So you can choose if you want to hear your own music or if you want to hear my music, whatever you want. Um, hi, Roger. Thank you for joining. And that's really cool. Some, um, some are already here. Um, of those girls who actually already joined our course, so that's cool. And um, yeah, so before we start, make sure to grab some water, maybe switch on some nice music. And what I also want to tell you, because like today we are going to do some flips and tricks and we will go up and down from the hammock. Um, first of all, make sure it's not too low, so make sure that your hammock, hammock actually is high enough. Um, you can actually put it on this level or maybe even a bit higher, but please don't make it too low. So it shouldn't actually be on your knee or something. So make really sure it's high enough so you don't bump your head if you go down. And um, another thing what is really important today is that you really make sure that if you have any injuries, like I'm not talking about a small injury, but like more like if you have already have a broken bone and it's healing, or if you have any head injury, or if you have a high blood pressure or low blood pressure or hernia, then please make sure that you take it really slow and please don't do anything upside down. So don't do the inversions with us. You can do the other stuff most probably, but um, please don't, like for sure don't do the inversions if you have any problems that I mentioned. And also, like the pregnant women, if there's someone pregnant, please don't do the flips and tricks. Don't go up and down. So no inversions for you. But everything else you can actually do. And maybe also, if you want to do more, but you are suffering from any condition, please make sure to actually check with your GP if you are allowed to do it or not. And um, cool, so there's another one joining us from Greece. Hi, hi, Sophia, thank you for joining. And um, yeah, I guess we are ready. Um, Timmy, are you are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> cool. So um, what we are going to do now is I will do a warm up with you, and then maybe Timmy will add some parts as well, additionally for the warm up, because we want to make sure that you are really warmed up to do the um, really cool poses together with us. And then Timmy is going to show you some really cool 
sequences and some really cool poses. And once we are done with that, we will do, um, of course, some stretching afterwards. So I guess we are ready to start. So now what I'm going to do is I will switch off the camera of Timmy so you can actually see me doing the workout and then afterwards Timmy will take over my part and she's going to show you some really cool aerobic stuff. <laughs> Okay, so now you should actually see me on full screen. Um, and then actually what we are going to do is, uh, first of all, take off your socks um, to have more stability. And what we are going to do now is actually starting a like, real classical warm-up. So maybe those who already joined some classes, you already know what we are going to do. So step behind your hammock and then put in one foot and then just make sure that you really push in here so the, the fabric is on your ankle and really push down and make your leg really nice and straight so it won't slide up while you're actually doing the workout. And then step nice and tall, put your hands together or if, if you want more balance, you can hold yourself a bit on here and then just move your leg outwards to the left or the right side depending on what leg you chose. And we are going to do it for 10 times. And you can always breathe out if you actually move your leg out for outwards and then breathe in if you move your leg inwards. So I'm at 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we can actually cross over the leg to the other side like this. And we also will do it like for 10 times. So I'm like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then what we can do is we can use the other leg and warm it up as well, just like you did it before. And make sure to really bunch up the hammock all together so it's just one line. And then we just continue the same like we just did before and do it 10 times again. So I'm at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now we can move over to the other side. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now you can leave your leg in here and just put the hammock below your knee and make sure that your leg that is on the ground and your foot that is on the ground is actually showing a bit in front of you or just slightly towards the side. So don't put it in a 90 degree angle, but put it more in this way. Then hold yourself on the hammock and just lean forward. And then if you have enough stability, you can actually also get rid of your hands. So you can actually, yeah, like remove your hands and just look upwards into the sky or just look onto your fingertips and hands. If you don't have enough stability, you can also just grab on here and hold yourself. And you can really push in the foot which is on the ground so you really feel a nice deep stretch in your hamstrings especially. Now when you do this, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> and uh, now we are going to switch the position. So just move your leg like your foot, which is on the ground, move it upwards in a 90 degree angle. And then just leave in the other leg in the hammock and already like, yeah, move, move forward again so you are in the stretch. Then just put your body more sideways and get your hands and arms up and make them really long and straight and try to make them in a really nice straight and long line. So it's a bit like a warrior position, 
and really look on your fingertip or slightly above it and don't forget to breathe. Now once you are done with this, just move the hands in the triangle position and make sure that one arm is showing downwards and it's near your foot, the hand, and the other one is showing up into the sky really nice and straight and look onto the hand that's showing into the sky, so this one. And make sure to really lean forward so you really feel the deep stretch. Now when you're done with this, grab on the hammer, pull yourself in the standing position again, and we can actually switch legs. So just put in the other leg in the hammer and make sure that the fabric is beneath your knee and make the foot which is on the ground more showing in front or slightly sideways and then just lean forward again and bring your hands into the sky in like a prayer's pose and just look up. And really lean forward deep into your hammock so that you feel a nice stretch because you're really going to need to have your muscles warm up for the exercises we are going to do. And once you are done, you can hold yourself on the hammock again, move your foot which is on the ground outwards in a 90 degree angle and then lean forward again and bring your hands and arms up in a nice straight line and just look in front of you or slightly above your fingertip and breathe. Now move the hand which is in front of you downwards so it's nearly like next to your toe and move the other hand and arm upwards into the sky and look in front, yeah like upwards and then in front of you onto your fingertips. Now you can slowly get out of the pose and you can just put your left straight again in the hammock and make sure that the hammock is like slightly above your ankle. Make the leg straight and then just move it behind you and grab the hammock on the sides, jump up into the front and we're in the dancer's pose. And to really feel the deep stretch, lean forward, so pull yourself more in front of you and also at the same time push back with the leg that's in the hammock and just lean forward. And don't forget to breathe. Now you can slowly move out of this pose and then just switch legs and we are going to do the same. So we are in the dance pose again. So this is how it's going to look from the side. But you don't actually have to do it like me from the side. You can still do it that way. I'm just going to demonstrate it to you how it's going to look from the side. Now once you're done with that, you can actually go on the ground and do a really nice plank position. So make sure that your um, yeah that your shoulders are really above your hands in a 90 degree angle. You can do it like shoulder wide and really press your fingertips into the ground to protect your wrist, wrists and then just put one leg in and then the other one 
And now you can either like stay in the plank position or you can move your hip up. So we are going into the pike position and then in the plank again. And this we are going to do 10 times. And whenever you lift yourself up, you can breathe out. And when you go down, you can breathe in. So we are going to do it for 10 times now. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then slowly move one leg onto the ground and knee down with this leg. And then push yourself backwards using your hands. So it's a bit like a one leg child pose if you are familiar with this. And really push back to feel the stretch. And take some nice deep breaths. Now when you are done, just put the leg back in the hammock and get the other leg down. And then again push backwards into something similar like a one leg child position. And really take some nice deep breaths. Now you can go out of the pose. Get up and we are nearly done with the warm up and then in a few minutes Timmy will actually take over and maybe continue a bit of the warm up and then we go into the really cool flips and tricks Timmy is going to show us today. So before we do this and before I hand over the, the, yeah, the show to Timmy, just step back in the hammock. Make your legs a bit wider, so maybe like shoulder wide. And really feel that the hammock is supporting you on your back. And then you can start moving sideways like this. And when you go down, you can breathe out. And when you go up, you can breathe in. So really move with your breath and do it for 10 times. So it looks three for me, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, nine and ten and whenever you feel you need a short break you can either go in this position again the one that we just did or if you need a break you can also just jump into your hammock like this then put your hands behind your hammock let them be loose and then just lean forward and put your forehead on the knees. And that's like really a nice pose if you if you would need a break during during our workout. So that's the warm up part. Um, and now we are ready to actually switch over to Timmy. And then Timmy is probably already ready to start. And if you like, you can already put in some feedback how you do, how you like the warm up. Because maybe I'm just going to change some parts in the warm up, so we won't actually need to do the same warm up every week. But maybe we can just change it so it's more fun for you. And um, yeah, I guess to me, are you ready to start? <laughs> <laughs> I am. Great. So I'm giving over to you now, and have fun. <laughs> Okay, so I will keep continuing with a little more warm up because um, this will be very good for grip and also for your wrist. So lift up both arms in front of your hammock, goes around, wrap around once, 
and then pull down the fabric under your uh, elbow and grab it one more time. Open your feet wide and we're gonna start to circle on the side, forward, left, behind. Another three, hold it tight, breathe continuously. When you're done with four, then you can go back the other way around. Also with your finger here, you can play a little bit. Another two. And one more. Beautiful, bend your knee and come back to the central line. You can release. Bring the hammock in front of you, punch up and make sure it's a shoulder apart. Lean forward with straight back. Then lean on a side. And then the other side, make it longer. Breathe continuously. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite ones. It's opening the sides so well. Another two. And the last one, beautiful. Come up, roll yourself up to stand, and also cross your finger, make a circle with your hands, back, then press them together, the palms, shake it out, and shake it down. Beautiful. The first pose today, it's called figure head forward. Um, I really like it because when you put in the choreography, just um, it's so nice, easy, and at the same time, it's it's just nice. <laughs> put one of your foot inside and step up. Here, if somebody has a little shoulder problem, then leave the shoulder behind and grab the hammer. And in this case, you gonna step forward. If you don't have any problem, and if you have enough height. Then um, grab the hammock higher and step forward with one leg and just release. Bend the first leg and the toes touching the knee. Hold it here for a few breaths. To come out, either you can step down on the floor, slowly you release and you come out. Or let's do one more time, the same foot was inside the fabric. Pull yourself up to stand. Um, I'm gonna do now, like it's not hurting my shoulder at all. Step forward, bend the knee and tilt your head back. This is a beautiful pose. Then you can pull yourself back into the hammock. Okay, step out for one second. Then shake your finger, move your finger. Okay, let's do the other side. Step inside with the opposite leg. Grab the hammock higher and then lean forward. Let your shoulder come in front of the hammock. Bend the front leg, touching the knee. Tilt your head back. Beautiful, hold it here slowly. You can release your leg on the floor, come out. We will do one more time. And now we're gonna step back into the hammock. Put your leg inside, pull yourself up. And grab the hammock higher or leave it under your shoulder and lean forward, bend the knee, touch the toes, tilt your head back. Beautiful, pull yourself back. Okay, the second one um, is a figurehead backward. So it's a very similar. You hold the fabric very tight at head level and extend the front leg, drop your hip down to the floor, bend the back knee and tilt your head back. This is also very beautiful. Place your leg down on the floor and come out. We do the opposite side. 
Step inside, pull yourself up. Grab the hammock at your head level and back. Tilt your head back, bend the back knee, hold it here. Extend the front leg and slowly place it down on the floor. Beautiful. Um, okay. The next, because, um, yeah, last uh, Friday, I think, was a really um, dynamic um, choreography. So today we will we'll learn the straddle sit, which is straddle back. I'm going to show this case. So put the fabric on the lower back. Then slowly bring the knee against the fabric and open your leg wide. Then bend both knee and wrap it around the sling. Then kick up. Then sit up. Grab the hammock at ankle level. Then bend both knee down. Then grab the hammock a little bit higher. Extend that leg and pull yourself up into the steel pose. How to come out? Then push the fabric. Let catch under your knee. Squeeze the knee together. Flex the toes back to the fabric and slowly come out. Slide the two legs down, soles of the feet together. Open it to straddle back and come up. Let's do one more time. I will do on this side now. Slowly place the fabric on the lower back. Put a little weight. Bring the knees against the fabric and open your feet high. Bend both knees, wrap it around, kick up. Then sit up, grab the hammock at ankle level. Bend both knees down, point that toes. Climb a little bit higher. Then extend both legs and pull yourself up in a nice way. Beautiful. Now we come out in a different way. Grab only the right side of the fabric and then lean forward and only bend those knees which you, you grab it the side. So lean forward, bend the knee and then slide down those hands. Extend the back foot, the back leg and palms facing each other. Beautiful. Enjoy the movement. Then grab the hem of back, open your feet wide to straddle and come out. Beautiful. We're going to make one more time and now we're going to come out on the other side. <laughs> what I am doing? <laughs> okay. So place it on the lower back, straddle back. <laughs> open your feet wide. Bend both knees and kick up. Then sit up. Bend down both knees. Start to climb. Extend that leg and slowly push yourself to yourself. Then you're going to grab the opposite side you did before with both hands. Lean forward. Let the fabric catch under your knee and slowly slide down. Hold it. Bend it very tight. Arms facing to each other. Push the back leg down to the floor. Inverted pigeon. Beautiful. Then you can grab, open your feet wide, and come out. Very nice. Okay. We do one more time, and then we continue with a cradle roll. So please place on the lower back. Bring the feet wide, bend both knee, kick up. Sit up at ankle level, push it down, start to climb. Ooh. Only the right side, I'm gonna hold it, lean forward, bend your knee, let the fabric catch under, and slowly. Beautiful. From here, grab the hammock under your knee, then grab the hammock above your knee, grab on the other side. From here, I'm gonna pull myself up. I'm gonna extend the top leg and let the fabric catch under your bum. So we're gonna push through on it. 
pour yourself up, extend and let the fabric catch under your bum. From here, grab the hammock a little bit higher. And you're gonna rotate your hip into the fabric. So this leg, bring it towards to your chest. And then let's slide back under your knee, the fabric, release, and you're gonna come out. So I'm already doing kind of move your finger a little bit because we're using a lot of grip right now. Hello. <laughs> okay. So let's do one more time. The other sequence, this is together. So place the fabric under your lower back. Then straddle back. Bend both knees. Wrap around the sling, kick it up. Grab the hammock at anchor level, bring down, both knee climb up, and pull yourself up to seal. Only holding one side. I'm gonna hold now the opposite side. Then lean forward, and we are finishing in inverted pigeon. Then grab the hammock under your knee. The other hand goes above your knee. Grab the hammock higher, and then we're gonna extend the top leg. Pull yourself up, extend those legs. From here, grab on both sides, grab the hammock a little bit higher and rotate your hip while the top leg, you're gonna pull it towards to your knee and then you are up here, you can extend the top leg. This is called cradle of pin. You can make really beautiful things using and you make a choreography. Then grab the hammock back, and rotate your hip the way you come in, let the fabric catch under your knee, and inverted pigeon, we are finishing. Then you can grab the hammock, open your feet wide, and come out. I'm not sure how you go with a cradle spin, so now we're just going to do a cradle spin. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna straddle, but we're gonna push on both sides our legs. So you bring one leg, and you can pull it. Then you can pull it on both sides. You pull yourself up and extend that leg and pull the fabric. It's gonna catch under your palm and then rotate yourself, extend the top foot. So if you have any questions right now, while you are doing it, I hope you are all still with us and you are able to do it. If no, then just please just type in some comments so Timmy knows exactly what he was struggling with. Um, because I think most of you probably managed to do everything but maybe the straddle spin is something you are struggling with a bit, so just type it in the chat if you have any questions, or also let us know if you manage to do everything, and maybe you are already know everything, so then if no one would have a question, we could actually like continue and do the whole sequence maybe together. So yeah, type in the comments um, in the chat how you are holding up. Um, are you too fast or are you with us? Okay, so I was thinking maybe another sequence. This was uh, last Friday, a little part of the choreography. So please step in. We make a flying tree, the free leg, come behind, around, and place it on an inner tight. And then um, top of your toes, it's going to stay stuck on the top. And then push it out, so you're gonna find yourself in the S-shaped seat. From here, my shoulder is already behind, and from here, from seat to waist, I'm gonna put the fabric. You push a weight against on that leg, and then pull the fabric on a lower back, and slowly lean back, and see if you can catch your foot. 
From here, you can grab it back. Slowly place your leg down. I really like this stretch because you can pull the fabric. We're gonna have here a few breaths. Just because we had like a lot of grip in a cradle spin and in that sequence. So this is basically the relaxing. <laughs> okay, so um, Timmy, we have two questions. So one, could you show um, everyone what uh, we are supposed to do after they went into the inverted pitch and how they actually come into the straddle spin? And another question, um, how do they get actually the, the, um, the fabric wrapped around the ankle if they are in this, this position on the hammock? So could you do the position you just did one more time, showing how they put the fabric around and the straddle spin? <laughs> what was the first question, sorry? Yeah, so the first question, I'm going to put it in here. So we have one actually wondering what are we supposed to do after the inverted pitching. So how do we get into the straddle spin? Okay. Uh, that's the first question. <laughs> okay. So let's go back just to the straddle uh, inverted pigeon. So maybe I'm showing this part and I show the other side too. So for sure you know, see everything. So from here, I bring only my right side on both, right leg on both sides. So this is, this is the inverted pigeon on two sides. Then I grab the hammock only with one hand under my knee. The other one on the top. This hand goes on the other side. So I'm holding on both sides. A little bit I'm grabbing higher. From here, I'm gonna pull myself up and I'm gonna extend the back leg. So I pull myself up, extend and pull the fabric. Here I'm gonna catch under your bum. Here, you can grab the hammock a little bit higher on both sides. And this is not that easy. So like, which leg closer to the floor? That will be the top leg. So you pull yourself, roll yourself into, and this will become on the top. So the fabric is on my knee tight, but like really inside. And I extend the top leg. I will show to come out. You grab the hand back and slide back to invent the pigeon. You come on, you grab the hand, you slide and come back to the straddle. And I show you one more time from this side. Yes? Okay, so now I think everyone is with us with the pigeon and the uh, uh, straddle spread spin, so that's great. Um, if you do it another time, yeah, and make it faster so everyone will see it again. That would be great. And then we have the other question. Maybe you can do it afterwards. Actually, if you did, you did the other pose, like um, the one we did last week, kind of. So yeah. how do they wrap the uh, fabric around the ankle? So that would be the next one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So one more time. <laughs> one more time. I show the cradle spin. Okay, so straddle back and one leg goes on both sides of the fabric. From here, you pull yourself up and extend that leg and pull the fabric towards to you. From here, grab the hammock on both sides a little bit higher and then this foot will come on the top. So this will be the top foot. So you roll yourself, pull yourself up and this will be the top leg. Beautiful. Then grab the hammock back and you can release. I'm gonna catch under your knee and come back to inverted pigeon. Beautiful. Let the hammock open your feet by back to straddle and come out. Okay, the other question was, we're gonna step inside, 
So come behind your hammock, one foot inside. Yes. How to wrap the ankle. So pull yourself up to stand. Bring your leg around and place it on your inner thigh. And then here, my top of my foot, it's staying on the fabric. I don't know, here I can show you. So your foot is not behind the fabric. You wrap it around. So either you can flex your toes, that could help also. Um, then you step on the fabric, extend that leg, and also with your hand, you can push the fabric on the ankle. And then you can release the front leg. Here, you push your weight against on that foot, and from sit, you can take the fabric on the base level, and slowly you can lean back and see if you can catch your free leg with your free hand. Here, you grab it back. Place your leg down on the floor. You can take out your shoulder, and at the same time, you can bring this leg towards to you. It's a really nice stretch. It's one of my favorite ones. Even I like to do sometimes for warm up. Okay. Then you can wrap out your foot, release, and step out. Let's do the other side. Step inside, pull yourself up. Then the opposite side, you're gonna bring it around and place it on the inner thigh. Now make sure, flex your toes. So it's gonna be the fabric on top of your foot. Um, bring the shoulder forward and step on it. Either you can push the fabric with your hand. Then you can release the front leg. From here, I bring my shoulder behind, I grab the fabric, and then I push my weight cross on that foot, and I pull the fabric from sit to waist. And then slowly you can lean back and see if you can catch your free leg with your free hands. Beautiful. Slowly place your leg down on the floor. You can bring out your shoulder and pull the fabric, if you can, pull the fabric towards to you. Hold it here for a few breaths. Beautiful. You can wrap out your foot, get down, and you can release. Okay, this was the two sequence from me today. If you want to do one more time the cradle spin or this one, let me know. Then we do one of them. Yeah, cool. I think now everyone got it. So, um, <laughs> so that's great. Congrats, guys. And um, yeah, if you would like to do the sequence all together again, we can actually do that because I think everyone is ready to go. And um, we have a really fun comment actually from Katrin. So Katrin says, I need to train my muscles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, not me. Sometimes I'm shaking end of my um, end of my day actually. <laughs> okay, so let's do one more time the Claudia spin sequence because I really like that one. Okay. So we do from the beginning. So breathe, straddle back. Then bend both knees, wrap it around, kick up. Then pull yourself up, grab the fabric at ankle level, bend the knees down, start to climb, extend those legs, pull yourself up into it. Only we're gonna hold one side, then lean forward, let the fabric catch under your knee. We are ending in, in inverted pigeon. Then grab the hammock under your knee, Grab the hammock above your knee on the other side. From here, pull yourself up, extend that leg, grab it higher, and with a suddenly movement, rotate yourself in it. 
can hold it here, even you can release, you can fly. And then grab the hammock back, let the fabric catch under your knee, and get back in back in pigeon. We're gonna do the opposite side. Grab the hammock, open your feet wide, and come out. Okay, one more time on the opposite side, and I really think you made a really hard, cool workout today. Okay, let's try the back. Open your feet wide, bend your knee, wrap around, sit up, grab it at ankle level, knees down, start to climb, pull yourself up, then hold on, leave the opposite side you did before, lean forward, let the fabric catch under your knee. Inverted pigeon, grab the hammock under your knee, above your knee, start to climb, push yourself into, grab it higher, rotate your hip into it, play a little bit. Ooh, grab the hammock back, let the fabric catch under your knee, finishing inverted pigeon, grab the hammock, open your leg by. And come out. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Thanks. You were with me. <laughs> For sure, 100%. I know. But at the same time, it's worth it because it looks amazing and beautiful when we are doing with the flow. And especially if you can put some nice music behind, just a really nice feeling. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for this really cool sequence. And it's amazing because now everyone everyone got it. So that's great. Chelsea and Dorota are for sure with us and everyone else as well. So um, if you have any feedback, you can actually really like put it in the comments. Let us know how did you like the sequence? Um, was, it, was it too fast or was it just the right amount of new learnings for you and um, so feel free to put it in there and <laughs> yeah just like Timmy is doing right now um, get some water make sure you drink enough <laughs> so um, yeah grab some water and maybe if you like write down in the comments how you liked it so we really would love to hear your feedback and um, before we actually go in some stretching, um, I want to announce that we have a really cool surprise at the end after we did the stretching. Um, so make sure to watch the full workout and um, really make sure that you will stay at least for the stretch, but better even for the surprise you have at the end. And um, yeah, again, thank you very much. And like next week, we're actually going to use this sequence uh, or maybe even something more. I'm already surprised myself what TV will have for us um, for next week to actually put it together with some nice music because then it's super amazing. And it's like today was fun, but next week it's going to look more amazing if you do it actually com like combining it with music. So yeah, thank you again. And I guess we are ready to start with some stretching. And um, actually, um, we will just do a standing stretching. And then maybe we will just add some more. So um, Timmy, if you like, I can actually start with some stretching in the standing position. And if you want to add some more, you can always add some more. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we're ready to start with some stretching after our workout. So now really make sure that you actually put your hands nice and straight. And then you're going to really grab your arm here and like really have the, the arm nice and straight and really have some nice deep stretch in here. So you really, really feel like some pull and some stretch here to really stretch your muscles. And like make it really nice and straight. So don't do like this or like that or whatever. So just really try to stay straight and pull your arm a bit. And when you're done with this side, maybe shake your arms up a bit. And then you're going to stretch 
towards the other side. And again, like make sure that you're nice and straight. So don't do something awkward like this because like this you won't stretch your arm. So really just do it like this. And once you are done, you can actually shake them out again a bit. And then put one of your arm behind your back like this. Make sure that this line is nice and straight. So don't do it outwards like this, but really nice and straight. And then just push and pull down your arm with the other hand like this. And when you do this, don't forget to breathe because it's really important that you don't forget to breathe while you do the workout and we really help you to relax your muscles and stay strong during the workout. Now shake them out again and use the other arm and we just do the same with the other side. Now when you are ready with this, shake out your arms Shake out your feet and then you can actually sit down below your hammock. Just put your hands in here like this, wrap it around completely so it's completely, completely wrapped like this. And we'll do it again. So you put your arms and fingers into the hammock in front of you like this. Then you are pulling backwards and then in front through your hammock again and then really push down so your wrists are really supported and then you can fold your fingers and when you are in this knee, knee position first what you can do is to lean back so like really just lean back and feel how your spine is going to be really nice and straight and all the pressure is gone from your spine and really let your head relax like behind you and make sure that your wrists are still fully supported if you feel some pull in your wrists make really sure that they are supported with the fabric or you can also hold yourself a bit on the fabric but the real yeah sense of this is actually that you don't have to hold yourself, so really wrap around your wrists and slowly lean back and just take some nice deep breaths. Now when you're done with that, just lean like this, uh, stay like this again and then slowly lean forward this is maybe not so good if you have like strong, like real back pain already because you you don't really support your back and don't really work out your back already. So maybe then this is not such a great idea. So you might only want to go until here if you have back problems. So just do this pose and then move slowly from the head into the cow position like this if you have back problems. And really go with your breath. So move. So if you actually breathe out, you move like this. And if you breathe in, you just go back in the cow position. Now you can continue with that if you have any back problems. And if you don't have any back problems, you can actually just lean forward like this and really let the hammer pull, pull you a bit up into the sky and then just relax your feet and your legs straight behind you so it's going to look like this from the side but really make sure to stay on your mat because my floor is really cold so just stay like this and take some nice deep breaths And make sure that your neck is either like straight, so you look in front of you, or slightly upwards if you are in this position. Now when you are done, 
slowly, like really slowly get out of the pose and use your hands and arms to really pull yourself slowly out of this pose again. Until you are back in the knee position. Then get up and then just shake out all of your body parts. Now I'm going to get into me again. <laughs> so, so to me, if you want to add anything, um, you feel like adding anything, feel free to add anything. Um, or we would actually tell you about our surprise. So it's up to you, Timmy. <laughs> Um, I, I really have only one thing because you made amazing stretch. This is really good. I really love it. Only grab your finger because this part in your thumb is very big. So only this part I want to stretch out on one side, then grab the other finger and stretch it out so the finger is facing down towards the floor. That's all. <laughs> so then maybe shake out your wrists again if you like and you have any wrist problems because I used to have them you can also just fold your hands and then slowly move them around like this I really like this because it really gets everything loose in your wrists that has gone stuck in any way cool so um, we are ready for today like today we don't have any meditation for you because probably you are like really warm up and if you want to, I don't know, like jump in the sky after the workouts. <laughs> so um, on Sunday we actually have a meditation to end, uh, but today we don't because probably you are like really high right now. If you still want to do it, of course you can do so afterwards. Um, maybe put your socks again, um, at least I'm going to do it right now, because the floor here is really cold and I don't want to freeze, so maybe do the same. And then actually, um, thank you very, very much for joining today. Um, again, if you have any feedback, um, please tell us how you liked it, if you liked it, um, whatever. We are really looking forward to your feedback, so feel free to put it in the comments or just drop me a message. And um, yeah, so actually, um, we have a really cool announcement today because um, Timmy and I, we are uh, like currently working on a really, really cool area yoga course. And this course is about something similar we did today. So it's actually about aerial fitness and aerial choreography with flips and tricks. So actually what we are going to do is we will actually do some fitness poses with you. Additionally, as bonus, we will also do like maybe one or two meditations in the course and some breathing exercises. And then Timmy will have some really, really cool choreographies in the course. So yoga, area yoga sequences combined and synchronized with music. And it's going to be some really, really cool um, flips and tricks. And I'm sure you are going to love it. And some of those who are listening today, they are already in the course. So they can already test some videos. And by the way, if you already have the course, we will upload some new stuff and you will actually get a notification in our secret Facebook group soon and you can check out some really cool new stuff over the weekend and we are excited to hear your feedback. So if you are interested in this course, I'm actually going to put in a link in the chat in here and if you like, you can just click on the page. So really make sure if you want to up-level your area yoga skills and some really cool flips and tricks to really make sure you check out the link I just posted. And then you will actually get the course for only $87 or 87 euros um, today until like about like roughly a week. And then from end of April, it's going to be like much, much more. And the end price of this course is 277. So you can actually get it for an amazing reduced price now as a gift. So really make sure to check out the link if you actually want to upload your skills and have some nice fun workouts because this course is really, really cool. I'm already super excited to work on it even more. And I think Timmy as well. And um, so really make sure to click on the link, check it out. And if you have any questions, just message either Timmy or me. 
Um, and you already got my email address anyway, I guess. So yeah, today it's like only 87 euros and like when the final course is up, it's going to be um, 277. So you can actually save a lot of money right now because we want to give it to you as a gift. And also in this course, there will be like four Zoom live works workouts so we can actually work out together, see each other and we really give you an amazing feedback. And otherwise, um, thank you again for joining and I hope we will see you again on Sunday or next week on Friday. And now I'm going over to give my word to Timmy because I'm sure you want to say something as well. Yeah, I think our, I mean, my camera for sure is um, not working anymore, so I just can say things. Um, thank you so much for drawing and thank you, Lisa, so much. I can be part of this. It's really amazing. I really hope everybody could manage. If you have, as Lisa said, if you have any question, yes, it's a pleasure. I would love to answer and we would like to have some feedback. So we know exactly what we can work on to get better and better every single time. And yes, and this course this would be really amazing because um, there are going to be like four uh, the fifth surprise um, choreography. So I mean a bonus choreography. And um, it's, a, it's really something also connecting big dance and music. So I think it's just really amazing. Um, that's all I want to say. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, cool. Um, thank you, Timmy. Um, I really enjoyed the workout today with you as well. And yeah, I guess we will see you guys on Sunday for the classic area yoga workout or on Friday next week. And we are going to actually use some nice music to put it all together. And thank you again for joining. Thank you for your feedback. And yeah, I'm wishing you an amazing weekend and happy Easter, by the way. And see you soon. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.